from large cathedrals to his West Dallas workshop. This is a street organ. John Miller is keeping the songs of the past alive for generations to come in more ways than one. I'm okay with being the, the organ guy. I'm organ guy John. <laughs> He's an organist and an organ builder. I've been interested in pipe organs basically since I was born. He has about 70 organs across Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa that he maintains and refurbishes. It used to be that you would have uh, organ builders in every region of the state, and that's organ builders have just become so few that uh, now the few of us who are still around have to do a lot of traveling. John said that there are only about a dozen in the state, and at 29 years old, he's by far one of the youngest. <laughs> I like preserving things that are old. I like um, hearing things that are, uh, hearing music that's 200 years old. Becoming an organ builder is tough. While it's easy for an aspiring mechanic to find cars to work on, it's much more difficult to find an organ to tinker with. So he flew across the Atlantic and studied at a German organ builder school for three and a half years. As far as I know, there are three organ building schools in the world. Um, one is in France, one is in Germany, and one is in Austria. He came back in 2019 and opened up his shop in West Dallas. As a newcomer, he's experimenting with ideas like 3D printing parts that would normally be laborious and expensive. I'm very uh, hesitant to even use the 3D printing and modern materials in this. We've seen a lot of damage get done with um, modern plastic glues. So he uses it sparingly and sticks to the old school methods to fix these centuries old instruments. <laughs> It's John's mission to breathe fresh air into these organs. So that they may be played for a few hundred more years. In West Dallas, James Grow, TMJ4 News.